Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! Last time, we made it to the town of Ferenther, or Farenther, however you want to pronounce it. And we're supposed to go to the end, but, well, let's take a look around town and well, collect our hero tax. Ah, okay. Don't they have, like, child labor laws and stuff? Maybe they're just older than they look. Like most characters in JRPGs, really. Ah! Nice. <laughs> well, that's not funny at all! Oh. Is that like a JRPG series or something? No. Well, it is, but they're, that's not what they're talking about. Is this like a, a manga or something? Oh, um, good for you, I guess. Does this kid talk? Okay. Ah. Oh, I thought they were the parents. They look bigger than you. But we can get some money here. Hmm. I can't seem to hear anything. I thought, like, if you tried to interact with the cat, you could hear it purring while it's sleeping or something. Oh, well. And there's a locked door that we can never open, as far as I remember. Nuts. Then, maybe you should try living somewhere else. Ah. Darn, I guess. Welcome to the real world. Well, let's see what we got around here. See, this this town is oddly divided into three sections, not four, for some reason. I think almost every other town is divided into four sections. But I like how they give this town a unique feel to it and everything. See, these guys are too busy getting drunk. Or just sleeping and getting drunk. Yeah. Yeah, her boys. And the beer helps, too. Ah. Okay. What are you, like a siren or something? Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay, never mind, then. Nuts. Well, that was fast. How did they already get a poster out here? Heck, how did they even know what we look like? I mean, it's not like you take, like, a snapshot or something. I mean, what, did someone paint a picture or just drew a picture or what? Well, Lodic is the only one with dangerous arms. Holy cow! Yeah, they didn't even get the ears right. Not a huge fan of the huge ears. I'll be honest with you, viewers. I mean, as far as elves go in any work of fiction, especially World of Warcraft, holy cow, those elves have huge ears. Couldn't they just do it like, I don't know, like Romulans and Vulcans or something and just make their ears a little pointy at the end and be done with it? That always worked for me. They're pretty much elves. Space elves. Oh. Oh, okay. What is a bungalow, anyway? I mean, I've heard the word before, but I guess it's just a room where you're staying or something. Oh. Well, good for you. I don't get jitters anymore making YouTube videos, but it's still a different process for each game that keeps the experience fresh to me. And if we go back here, haha, more money and a new healing item. That one cures the plague status. That's like a countdown status. In three turns, you will die. 
but it's just easier to... What is it? Wait, what was that? Yeah. It's just easier to kill the enemies to begin with. Oh. What is wrong with you? Dude! Yeah. Yeah, I know the feeling. Ha ha. Ah. Aren't you a little young to be training for the military? Ah. It doesn't look like it. Ah. Okay, what is it like? Wood paint or something? I don't know. Yeah, I don't really care for the medium bombs. Well, maybe you should stop polluting then. I don't know. Call me crazy, but I think that would be a good idea. Let's see. Where are we, anyway? Okay, we need to get to the northwest part of town. At least I think I can get there from here. Yes, we can! Oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, well, everyone's got Galorans, don't they? They're kind of like the mascot for this game. Ha ha. Oh, good for her, I guess? Yeah, I think you're a little old for her gelts. Eh, I don't think Geltz is into that sort of thing. But if we go around here... Well, we get safe havens. Those make your entire party immune to status ailments for two turns, if I recall correctly. I don't use them too often, but I do use them every now and then. So you'll definitely want to hold on to them for later. They're good for certain boss fights. To avoid a multitude of status ailments. I think there's an ability called Wheel of Fortune or something or other like that, where it just inflicts random status ailments on everyone. It's obscene. Hmm. Well, we got nothing in here for now, but remember this room for later, viewers. Not today, but down the road. Well, let's see if the colonel is in his office. What's in this room? Nothing! Okay, never mind then. You got a huge loft up there, but you're not really doing much with it. But over here, haha! Yeah, we get some massive weapon upgrades for Spinel and Geltz there. And those are the best weapons you can even buy at the store. So, yeah, it's the best stuff we can get at this point in the game. Speaking of which, let's see. Let's go back down to the. First screen area. Actually, you know what? Let's go over to the item shop. Oh, can we? Okay, we can't from here. Never mind, then. Ah. Well, maybe you should throw it out somewhere else. Nuts. Oh, well. Oh, right, yeah. Everyone's talking about that. Okay, let's uh, see what we got here at the weapon shop then. Oh, good for you. Because as we all know, every JRPG has to have a high-tech city or a steampunk or whatever you want to do. But I do want to buy and sell some stuff. So let's see what we got here. Actually, you know what? Let's just buy stuff first and then we'll sell. Okay, we could get upgrades for Killian here, but we're going to find a weapon for him in the next storyline dungeon. So I'm just going to hold off on that. Let's see, we already got the Mithril Dagger for her. We got some stabs for Henson for some reason, even though he's not around, but they're here. Seems kind of pointless to me. 
And let's see, we already got the obsidian hammer. One thing to watch out for with that though, is that you see where it says minus five there for ice resistance? Yeah, that means Gelt is gonna take a lot more ice elemental damage. So you wanna watch out for that, but it's still totally worthwhile. Now I do wanna get an upgrade for Botic there since we don't find one. We already got the gold scale mail from, what was that, the ziggurat there? That's why I got this instead of the other chest that had 22 grand in it and then it exploded when I got the gold scale mail there. See, so yeah, I do want to get an upgrade for Spinel there. Let's get that for Geltz. And I could get a, a defense upgrade for Laduck there, but the defense on his armor is so low compared to like what we can get for everyone else that I just don't think buying armor for him is really worthwhile. It's a lost cause. So, okay, let's buy all those things then. And I would also like to upgrade my weapons with holy gems. Hopefully you bought them back in chapter two. So let's upgrade our mithril dagger with that. Let's change the obsidian hammer to holy elemental instead of fire. And let's see. Yeah, the divine gauntlet, despite its name, is not holy elemental. So we need to upgrade that. Okay, so let's see. Let's get our new weapon upgrade. Eh, it's not too bad. She already had a pretty good weapon upgrade before, though. Let's see, get that. Okay, for Geltz. Yeah, look at that attack power boost. That'll be huge for you. Let's see, okay, get a nice armor upgrade. And where is it? Yeah, there's your new weapon. Yeah, it's a bit better here. Okay, now with the armor here, let's see. With Geltz, what do we got? Okay, I want to give the safety boots to Spinel, actually, and give the hobnail boots to Geltz there, because Spinel is mostly going to be spending her time using Hysteria anyway. So, and her weapon's more than powerful enough anyway, as it is. So, yeah, just switch things around a little bit there. And, yeah, that should be good. Hopefully you got eight Might Rings on everyone. That really helps out in this chapter a lot. The Might Rings are still going to be good for the majority of Chapter 3. And there are some other items that I would like to sell, too. Let me see what we got here. Okay, I'll hold on to the... What is it? The food items. But we can get rid of the medium bombs. They're not going to be useful for us. Let's get rid of these immortality scrolls before they incidentally trigger themselves. Yeah, the thing with immortality scrolls is you don't even have to use them. They can just trigger automatically. And I don't like that because they're worth a lot of money. Not that I need the money right now, but I'd rather just sell them, get them out of my inventory so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay, and also before moving on, we got some new skills that I want to put to use. Or learn, that is. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. I do eventually want to learn that ability. That can be pretty nice. But for now, I want to learn Geltz's ultimate ability. Doom Hammer! And I'm a little short on SP for that. Whoops. And, okay, yeah, well, I'll just learn it after I get into another battle, then. Oh. Well, it's not that good. Let's see, before going to the inn, though, let's go around here. I think we can get to the item shop here now. How's it going? Ah, oh, you must be afflicted with the Bailey curse, huh? Although I've never smoked a day in my life. Or drank alcohol or anything else. My vice of choice is Cheetos or Excedrin. Or both. Okay, let's see. Anything useful? Well, if you wanted to, you could get some more Mighty Medicines. They're pretty cheap. 
but I think I'm pretty good on status curing items, and I am going to learn some status curing abilities soon anyway. So I think we'll be fine. So yeah, let's uh, make a pit stop here. What's going on? You're up late, and something tells me it's not because you were praying. Well, someone's got to be on guard duty. Well, what are you doing up? Afraid I might turn you in to the Order of Light? I don't think that would work out very well for either of you. You wouldn't report me. You'd only betray yourself since you also agreed to go after the stones. <clears throat> However, unlike Killian and Spinel, you had no reason to continue looking. Oh, yeah. Why is he around, anyway? So, I'm curious as to why you are looking for the Wicked Stones. <laughs> Mind your own business, monk. Are you trying to kick me out of the group? Is that it? Um, that is our business. We're all trying to get the Wicked Stones, aren't we? You've proven your value. I have no reason to want you out. It's just that... It's not that I don't trust you. What is it? Spit it out, monk. Well, okay, I don't trust you. Don't believe for one second that you will be keeping the Wicked Stones for yourself. What are we going to do with the Wicked Stones once we get them anyway? Stop jumping to conclusions. I don't know what you're basing these assumptions on, but I can assure you I have no bad intentions. Yeah, you seem to be a stand-up guy to me. <sighs> If you're lying, I promise you. Promise you what? What? You're not going to tell us, are you? Huh. Arrogant bastard. Yeah, we're all still assholes. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. All right. Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, where are we going? I think they mentioned that before, Arfhar's castle, or however you want to pronounce it. So, that's where we got to go next. Or, we can do side quests. So, yeah, let's go out and do that. Now that we are in Chapter 3, we can actually go to the Ziggurat again and get past Zone 1. And, yeah, we're all back up to full here. Let's see, for this part... Let's see, I actually want to put Lodok in the middle there, instead of the rear, because I want Lodok to be able to deal a bit more damage, even though his defense isn't so hot. And Spinel is mostly going to be using, what is that, Hysteria anyway, so I'm not really worried about that, or her damage output. And besides, she can still deal really good damage. I like the music we got going on here. Hey, how's it going? Balana Warp Core Technician. Oh, yeah, we've already uh, done all that stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like before, you pay the money, we get warped to the Ziggurat. They still sell the same things here, but now what I want to do is I'm just going to meet you up on the 10th floor there. Since I've already gone through them, I'm just going to run past all the enemies and I'll just meet you up there then. Okay, we're back on the 10th floor here, and now that we've made it to Chapter 3, we can head on into Zone 2. But once you've cleared any zone, you can't go back there anymore. Not that it's a big deal, but it's there. Seems kind of odd, but okay. Now let's see. Okay, yeah, let's keep going on then. Do we get a gift for clearing all this? You mean you wish to surrender to me? Very well, I accept. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's keep on going then. Let's see, this path splits up from here. Let's go this way first. I'll kill that guy on the way back. And sneak up on this guy from the back. Okay, let's see what do we got here. New enemies. These guys, what are they? 
Soul Stingers. I don't know how you sting someone's soul, but there you are. Let's see. I can't really exploit their elemental weakness, so that's... Okay, let's see. I don't think these guys can inflict any status ailments on us, so... I mean, you might think they should be able to, but they can't. At least I've never let them live long enough to be able to do that. Maybe they can just drain a little HP from us or something. I want to be a little careful with Lodok there. I think I can kill these guys before they get another turn. Yeah, look at that damage. You had no chance. That's why I've got him up front there, so he can help out with that. Wow, I'm surprised he's the in the lead with experience because he doesn't get any multi-targeting attacks. Or at least, well, there's like a dual tech, but he can't use that or something. But, yeah, that does seem kind of odd. Okay, let's see. Let's heal up after that one. And keep going. Oh, right, we got that Doom Hammer. Or, enough SP for Doom Hammer, I would think. Check it out. Okay, yeah, we got enough there. So yeah, it's basically the same thing as Blade of Fury. Except for Galt there. I prefer not to rely on Doom Hammer too much, because I'd rather use Galt's MP for healing. But if, like, let's say Killian is low on MP and Hysteria didn't work or whatever, then I would use Doom Hammer. That is, if I can ambush the enemies first. Yeah, I was worried those guys were going to turn around on me really quick. Now, one thing about this part... Well, okay, we're not seeing it now, but a lot of enemies in the Zone 2 of the Ziggurat is, are weak to Holy Elemental attacks. But not the two that I've met so far. All the rest of the enemies are weak to Holy, though. Let's see, I don't think these guys can even inflict any statuses or... I never let them live long enough to be able to do so, but it's there. Maybe I can get an opportunity to show off, Doom Hammer. Uh-oh. Nuts. Okay, I need to uh, wait these guys out. Okay, phew. Let's try that one again. Or I could try walking all the way around. Nope. Okay, just some more of those soul stingers there. This path is, well, not a dead end. There is a treasure at the end of it, but it doesn't take us to the end. Unless this guy turns around sometime today. Okay, and here we got another new enemy there. Let's see, Zombageddons. These guys can inflict the plague status on you, so you want to watch out for that. Hmm. But we'll be able to kill these guys relatively quickly enough. If Lada didn't kill a guy right up front, I'd probably have Spinel use Hysteria. But at this point... Hmm. Yeah, let's use Hysteria anyway. I don't want to chance it. Or we could just totally whiff at all of them. Why not? Well, fortunately, yeah, I've still got a Chapter 1 weapon. And I'm still annihilating enemies with it. That is sad. We will be getting a better weapon for him. Eventually. You had no chance. But yeah, I'd just rather not spend the money on that right now. But alright, we got that. Plenty of SP. And what do we get for our reward for killing all those guys? That's it? I've already got like, what, 90 of those things? Wow. You know, I don't think I've ever hit max on an item before like that. I mean, the game does throw items at you, but not quite that much, usually. Okay, so, let's see, we got... where is it? 
Okay, we got Doomhammer. Let's go get the Cleric Sora to help us out a little bit there. Let's see, what else do I want? Okay, I want to get a very important ability for Ladakh here. I forget exactly where it is. I know it costs 100 to reveal it. Okay. You know what? I'm going to save because I don't remember exactly where this thing is. I think it was that first one that I saw that had 100 SP. Let's see. I think it's this one, because that's where all the other buffs are. Hey, all right. So this ability is really good. I could have learned it in Chapter 2, but what I like to do with that, even though it only increases the attack for one ally instead of, like, War Blessing there, it's a lot cheaper, and something you could do is have Lodok use Shout on either Geltz or Killian there, and then you could use, like, Blade of Fury or Cross Slash, and you'd be pretty much able to annihilate any enemy, or any standard enemy group with the combination of the two, or two of those. Did I actually learn the ability, though? Okay, I did. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I just revealed it and didn't do anything with it. So, yeah, Shout is going to be really good for us here. But can we make it all the way through Zone 2 of the Ziggurat? Find out next time on Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!